Hello YouTube friends, it has been almost a month since I did a video for RPG Maker. I have some good news and I have some mostly bad news. The good news is, well, right now my cat's taking the crap. So if you can hear that, I'm sorry. Wrong one. Um, the good news is, I got a couple of maps done. Well, thanks, Steam. Nice. But I have more than enough games right now to play. The good news is, I got a couple of maps done. Only two. And the extremely bad news is, I don't know where I want my game to go from here. I thought about it for a week after finishing this map right here, which is Underground Ruins. And I just, I don't know. I might expand this map to be bigger because it's currently 150 by 150. I can go all the way to, well, you know, the monstrosity that this thing is. Again, I'm sorry, I'm like cast taking a crab right now. I'm sorry. I don't know if you want to say hi on YouTube code, and that's how he says hi. I apologize. And I need to empty that. Holy crap. Okay. Well, now I know. Okay, see, I could expand this to be bigger, but I don't know if I want to. And I don't know if I want to make it multi-level, and if I do, I might as well just make it bigger, i.e., you know, this, you know, because why not? It'll save maps on, instead of making it multi-level, it'll save you know, space, because I only have a limited number of maps that I can use, was this 2,000, and I have how many so far? Supposedly that many. Supposedly, which, this one does not count. This one is, um, the final map. So, yeah. But... I am sadly out of ideas on where to go next. So, feel free to send any suggestions on locations, and I will add them in. I mean, it can be mountain, it can be a beach, it can be whatever, like more underground stuff. I don't mind doing that, and it can be more even like... More, f more of this, or even more of, you know, just this. I don't mind doing it, but I personally am out of ideas. So, for anyone who does see this, and you have any suggestions for what you, for what kind of location you want to see in my game, feel free to send in my way. And I will put them in. I don't mind. And I... Same for like any features or whatever. Sit in my way and I will do everything I can to make those features work. With the RPG Maker event editor. And if I'm not able to make them work. It is what it is. Not a big deal. It is not a big deal to me if it does not work. I've already decided that one of my awesome features that I wanted to do may not work. And that awesome feature that I wanted to do is having more NPCs than 
Cyberpunk 2077. Now let me explain why. It's a great idea, but <clears throat> the program does have unfortunate limitations, which is fine. It is unfortunate, but it's fine. And one of those limitations are NPCs count as events. They're not separate entities from events. So doors are also events. Shop processing is also events. Dialogue, like if you have Say if I made an event like over in a very top corner and I had this be all the dialogue for this map. That counts as an event and that counts towards the 1,000 or 2,000 event limit for that map. So the more the more hidden dialogues I have everywhere, the more doors, the more chests, the more hidden items, you name it. Like if I wanted to have a system to where you can craft your own items, I would have to have it set up to where the player can press the action button or on keyboard Z or or Z for people overseas gotta be correct here or on console X or A for for respectable controllers I don't know what the button for switch is nor do I care and why would you use those controllers for switch use the better ones But, so, like, mining rocks. A mineable spot counts as an event. A tree source counts as an event. So that would dig into the limited amount of NPCs on that one map. So, having... I could, I, I mean, I can't, I can't. I can do it here. I can have this entire map full of nothing but NPCs. But if I wanted all of these trees that you see to be harvestable, that would take up the entire NPC limit for this map. Same for all these doors or all these signs. Like Currently I have how many events? 66. So if the limit is a thousand, a thousand minus sixty-six, there's your that's how many NPCs I can have. Yeah, so unfortunately that wonderful idea is not going to work. And I figured it wouldn't work, and that's fine. I don't mind that. I I mean it is what it is, like if these events were separate from NPC events, then it would work. But RPG Maker is a old engine, and all they do is just add new things to it, update the graphics a little bit, increase the bit size of the graphics from like 32 to 48, and... I don't know what Unity version is for for graphics. I'm not going to play it because I've heard it's bad. Plus it's Unity. Gross. But, yeah, I mean, that's, that's really all they do is add more features. Which is fine. I mean... But, do they have to keep making new ones to add new features? No. They can add those new features in the current one. And then for a go, make in new ones. But, whatever. But yes, I mean, that's, this is where I'm at right now. 
I don't really know what kind of map to make. So I've been debating on starting the entire event process and showing you all how that works. And I have mentioned this before in a previous video for this series. But the way I'm doing it now, I don't know if I want to do that because, yeah, I just don't know. I mean, I, I really want to finish the maps first and then do the eventing process. And then the test phase and then release on Steam. And maybe one day consoles. And not mobile because, no. Nah, I'm good. I'm good, boys. I'm good. But yeah. This is an update. I don't know where to go. Please consider sending some, some suggestions, ideas for maps. I don't mind taking them. I will gladly put them in. And yeah. Have a wonderful day. I will see you all next time in future videos.